Good morning, everybody, uh, and happy Monday. I'm uh, going to get some rain, I guess, that uh, we saw a need, so that's good. So as most of you know, uh, I had COVID a week and a half ago. Uh, both Father Richard and I came down with it at the same time. It was a function we were both at. And uh, the worst night was, the worst was the first night. I had a very high temperature and I, I thought it was going to die. So anybody who's had it and knows exactly how I feel. And now I'm just exhausted half the time. So it, it, uh, it really takes its toll uh, on us. And so I just keep struggling with it and uh, do the best I can. So as I, as I deal with this uh, COVID and the uncertainties of it, uh, I couldn't help but think about yesterday's uh, the readings, especially the responsorial psalm, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. Uh, I certainly have cried out to him with my, with my struggles with this. And I think the challenge for us is how do we trust in God even in these times where we don't feel so good? And I mean, that's always the challenge. And this is the beauty of the saints and the example of the scriptures that we have. I was talking to a parishioner uh, last week and they're concerned about some neighbors of theirs who are getting, they're elderly, and they've had a number of illnesses, and uh, they've kind of given up on God. And I, and I asked her about them, and she said, well, she said, they, I recommended they pray. And they said, well, prayer doesn't work because nothing changes. And I think that's part of the struggle I think we have with prayer is, is that, you know, it's, it's almost like it's the idea of the quid pro quo. I do something for God, he's going to do something for me. So I'm going to spend some time in prayer and then I'm going to get what I ask for. Well, that would be great if it worked that way, but it doesn't, sad to say. And I think as Jesus tells us in the gospel is to be persistent. Was it last Sunday or the Sunday before? Uh, the widow who was looking for justice from the judge and, uh, and she, she basically wore him out. He was afraid of her, so he's going to render her a just decision. So God hears our prayer, but it's not always the fact that I'm going to get what I want. Sometimes it's just that tiny whispering sound inside me uh, that lets me know that I'm not alone. So this week as we kind of approach, it's hard to believe we're approaching the end of October already. It's like, where did the summer go? Where did the fall go? Let us ask God to help us in our own journeys with whatever ailments that we have and loneliness and struggles that we have, because we're all poor in one way or another, do we may truly trust in God and offer my prayers of supplication, not only for ourselves, but for the, those around us. So God bless. Have a great week uh, and keep the faith.